Hey everyone, I'm Nicholas from Aperture University and today we're going to be talking about the window pull technique for real estate photography all within Photoshop. So let's get right into it. All right, so now that we are in Photoshop, here's the final image that we're gonna be working with. We have the right window, the center window, and then the left window. So a before and after, here's the after of the right side, and here's the before. You can see what a big difference that is. Then if we go to the center image, we have the, this is, here's the before. And then if we go to the left image or the left window, we have the before. And so you can see how much of a difference it makes when you before to after. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. We have the right side, the right window here. And so the technique essentially is, is that you're gonna take your flash and you're gonna flash that specific window and you wanna make sure that the edge is a little bit brighter than what the actual view is. And so this is how that's gonna work. We're gonna click on that layer. But before we do anything, we start off with a, uh, a base layer or, or a base image. And this is kind of like, you know, a, a decent amount of the inside doesn't matter. The view doesn't really matter, but the inside needs to be a little bit bright. You know, it doesn't have to be super bright, but it could be like your base image that you're gonna be working with. So let's go over to this flash. We have this, our first flash right here. We're going to go ahead and hit option alt and we're going to click on this layer mask. It's going to make everything dark. Then we're going to come over to the blending mode and we're going to hit darken. And that's what makes this trick come alive. So then we're going to hit B, go for our brush, our flow. Let's set it to like around 24, 25%. Make sure we're on white. If you're not on white, just go ahead and hit this little icon here and it'll set you to black and white. Fantastic, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start bringing back this, this view. My computer's uh, acting a little pixelated, so bear with it on just a few seconds. Um, but I promise you will see it a little bit better. And we can already start to see the view coming back a lot more. And notice how like I'm, 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 you, you know, brushing over like the edge and it's not really, it's not doing a lot. You know, it's not affecting that image underneath. So there it is. We've just been able to brought that view back in like, I don't know, like 10 seconds. And there was the before and there's the after. All right, let's move over to the middle. We're gonna go ahead and hold Alt Option, click on the layer mask. Then we're gonna go over to Darken. And now from there, we already have our brush set up. I mean, I actually wanna bring down the flow just a little bit because this particular, it's gonna get a little. So then we're just gonna brush right over that and we're gonna be able to get a much more better shot of that. And there we go. Like the middle image doesn't, we didn't really need it as much, but you can tell that it's just to balance out the whole image. And now let's go over to the left window, do the same thing, Alt Option, hit the layer mask, make sure we do darken. I'm gonna bring up my flow just a little bit up to like 20, 22, 23. And we're gonna bring that side back in. And there we go. There, there are our whole view that we were able to bring back. You can mess with it a little bit more, you know, bring it back more, or take away less, you know, it's totally up to you. But that is the before this is the before and that is the after and there you go so there you guys have it that is the window pull technique very simple and easy all in photoshop and i hope it was good enough for you you guys can use it in your next shoot and it can save you some time and you can make sure you get those windows brought back into your images much more efficiently and quickly so i hope you guys like this video if you'd like to see more content please follow my please go to my website on apertureuniversity.com Links will be below, especially a free ebook. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Adios.